Welcome to the fourth installment of the Return to Dance Fitness Workouts. This is the third pre-recorded session, okay, and this is going to be the easy workout for you. So don't forget, you should have already done the warm-up. Okay, this could have been through the actual warm-up video or follow the warm-up from the live session as well. So you should already be warmed up. You should have some water near you as well to make sure you're not too thirsty. Um, we'll go through all... Um, it's all the same exercises as the previous weeks. So I have added an extra one as well. I'm adding one extra um, activity for the core session and one extra session or one ex extra exercise for the plyometrics as well. Okay, so for the just going to show you the extra exercise for the core session. Um, then I'll go through each one as well. We're going to go, you have 20 seconds rest in between, so I will show you what the next one is anyway in your rest, okay? But it's going to be the same layout again. So it's going to go squats, lunges, senior touches, calf raises, elbow knee crunches, leg raises, flutter kicks, V-sits, okay? Ankle taps, which is going to be the new exercise, the Russian twist, the V-plank, the press-ups, plank, shoulder taps, and then the everyone's favorite, the tricep dips. Okay, so the new exercise is an ankle tap. Ankle tap, I'm just gonna show you, make sure it's not too far away. With the ankle taps, okay, you're basically putting your feet out in front of you, you're touching your ankles. It should be going side to side, touch your ankles like that, is gonna be the new exercise. Okay, and that is straight after the V-sits. So, once you've done the V-sits, bring your, bring your le legs down, put your ankles on the floor, and then you're going to move side to side, touching your ankles. Okay, so this is going to be 20 seconds exercise and 20 seconds rest. Hopefully you're already warmed up, like I said before, ready to do the session. So we've got 15 exercises for the core session today. And then we've also got 13 exercises from, for the plyometrics. I know 13 is unlucky for some, but hopefully it won't be for you guys. Okay, so we've got 15, ex 15 exercises, we've got 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. Okay, so just going to put my starter on now. The first exercise, quickly before I start actually, is going to be the squats. So getting down, feet facing forwards, getting down that position and then going down as well. So the first exercise is the squats, and then I'll go through the rest of them as well. Five, four, three, in squats, two, one, and go. Ten seconds gone. And stop there. Let's take just the next one to the lunge. If you go forwards and down. Okay, your legs should be going straight forward, so your back leg should be facing forwards so around, not twisted either. Three, two, one, lunges. Don't forget, do this in your own time. When you're saying you're going at your own pace, you don't want to go too quick, too soon. And stop there. The next one is the ceiling touches. Ceiling touch position up, then go all the way down as well. Got 10 seconds rest. You may want to burst some water if you want. It's entirely up to you. Three, two, one, ceiling touches. And stop there. The next one, okay. Next exercise is calf raise again. Calf raise to come up the floor, up, and then down. You may want to do this for a step. It's entirely up to you to get a greater range of motion if you're using the step. We've got five seconds, calf raise in three, two, one, and go.
and stop there. Next one is the elbow to knee conscious. So I'm going to do this stand up as well. It's the elbow to knee conscious. And done that. You can do that. You did the exact same thing on the floor. Um, you just lie down, then bring it up, and then change and turn it. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Elbow to knee conscious. And stop that. Next one is the leg raises. So it's leg, ra leg raises. You've done. Hopefully, you've got a yoga mat and a towel. Now you're back. And raising your legs. If you can't do both legs, then just do one. Put the leg down and move one leg up at a time. But I'm going to go two legs in the demonstration and go. Don't forget to breathe as well as you're doing the exercise. And stop there. The next one is the flutter kicks. So again with the flutter kicks, you're going feet off the ground, doing small kicks like that. If you can't, you're struggling to do that, move or take or turn it much slower. Maybe rest your feet on the floor as well. Three, two, one, flat kicks. Let's go. And stop there. Okay, the next one is the V6. Okay, if you can't do the V6, just do a low raise. Okay, the V6, then you've got arms and legs coming up, meeting together, and then go back down, nice and controlled. Starts with three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one is the new exercise. Okay, so you bring your knees, your legs up closer. Okay. Make, and then you're touching. And let's do it on the mat, just so you can see. Then touching your elbows, move to the side, face on. This one. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop there. The next one, the Russian twist. Russian twist, you can't like, set them back up. I'm going to show you feet on the floor this time. Then moving, putting your arms on either side of your body. Okay? Three, two, one, and go. And so there. Okay, the next one is the V plank. This is one we added in last week. So what we're going to do with the V plank, you can even you can either sit up and just hold your legs like that, or we're going to bring your legs up straight. So okay? hold it up like that for 20 seconds. And so in three, two, one. Okay, the V plank. So again, there's the V shape there. Ten seconds. And stop there. You get the next one. Okay, it's the press up. I'm going to show you the modified version. Normally, you do, well, I'm going to demonstrate what we're going the modified version. So you can do a normal press up, which you need to the floor. You go down that. Okay, I'm going to be doing demonstrating the modified version of your knees on the floor. 
and you're done. Let's go. 20 seconds. Ten seconds gone. And stop there. Next one is the plank. So you do the plank on your knees like that. Okay, just make sure your knees go and go back and hold it. You can do the plank straight arm like that. Okay, all locked on your elbows. I'll demonstrate this one. Okay, arm straight. Okay, let's go. So your, your hips will be too high or too low. Either. 10 seconds gone. And stop there. Next one is the shoulder tap. So basically the exact same exercise just done. But instead of just keeping your arms still, Okay, you're keeping your hands, or you're touching your hands on your shoulder. Like that. Okay, you've got five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, next one, last exercise. Okay, it's the tricep dips. Okay, you can get your window sill as you're safer. You can keep your legs straight while you're doing it. I'm going to demonstrate the legs bent. Ready? And go. All the way down. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, we've got two minutes rest. Two minutes rest until we do the plyometric session. So the plyometric session, the exact same order and exercises last week, apart from there's going to be an extra one just before the last set of my steps. So we are going to do mountain climbers. You can mountain climbers on your own time. The mountain climbers, you can go like that. Okay, then you got the jump and squat. If you can't do a jump after the squat, you just do a squat. You just go down and jump and jump. And then you got the lunge again. You can't do it with jumping lunges. You can't do the jump. Just do a lunge. You go down. And jump in to the next one. Come on off, let's play capers. Then you've got the fast hops in your left leg. And fast hops in your right leg. I'm then going to do the butt wall supper style my sets. There's no reason why you can't do a basic, we could do a vant. The like a shove and double step. Okay, the normal double step. Or the single step, like Bantam. Okay, so it's your choice. I'm going to demonstrate the normal, like buckle style double step. Then you've got the in and out squats. So you can go in and jump and out. In. Uh, the next one, I'm going to show you the jumping jack, okay, if you want to do the plyo jack, probably you want to do the harder session anyways, the jumping jack, go out and in, and continue doing it one more time, next one, okay, is going to be the ball jumps, okay, if you've got the ball jumps, of course you do the ball jumps, uh, and, uh, actually, I think there's only 12 exercises, so that's good for you. Okay, so you've got four jumps, turn, four jumps, and then you have burp, and after that's the new exercise. Okay, and that is the burp, which is you going down, and up. You go down, you're not going to do a press up, 
the on the horn version you can so basically go down out in and jump so that's the burpee then we'll go into the more steps as well so just to make a correction here as well as we don't do the split lunge um in the in the easy workout so i just had written it down whereas we, we do so what so you've got 12 exercises because okay, so that is you have more than two minutes rest so that's good all right for you guys okay so you've got tw 12 exercises now 30 seconds rest in between each one so i'm going to demonstrate the exercises again in between each one anyway we have 30 seconds rest as well. So the first one is the mountain climbers. So again, get down into that plank position. We're going to start. Have some water if you want to. We're going to start in five. Into the plank, let's go. To the mountain climbers, three, two, one, and So in your own time, at your own pace, to the mountain climbers. And stop there. 30 seconds rest. Then we're going to the jump squats. So we're going to jump squats, down, and jump. Okay, 20 seconds rest. Go have some water if you need to. Jump squats in five, four, three, two, one and go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, so the next one is the jumping lunges. So again, going down and jump. And jump. Okay, so the reason why we're doing all these jumps is obviously to add that power element into your dance. You've got 10 seconds till the jump lunges. Can't do a jump lunge, just do a lunge. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, the next one is the plain caper. Like you would again each week, like you would finish the real time dance, jumping onto one leg and then the other for the full 20 seconds. Can't do it, maybe have a break after four or five, then continue off that. Right, that's right. So in five, four, three, two. One and go. And stop there. Okay, the next one is the fast hops, left leg, hopping as fast as you can. One leg. Every afterwards, we then change legs. In between the face of the dress, do the next one as well. Grab some water if you want. Still got 10 seconds. Tell you you are fast. Hops on your left leg. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, she's now be feeling your left leg cramping. Okay, and that should subside as you are resting. 
for me, slowly get dissipated now. Next thing we're going to do is then hop on your right leg. Exact same intensity. Okay, you should be able to. I think some people have a favourite leg, so it should be as tough. But try and keep the intensity for both legs. Start in three, two, one, and go. And stop there. So again, you should now feel your right leg clamping up. Okay, and then hopefully that should subside as we're resting. The next one, because the most steps we're going to do, I'm going to demonstrate the buckle double step. Okay, no reason why you can't do, say, a Barcelona or Hammersmith style field turn or do a band as well. We start four, do a single step. Start three, two, one, and go. And stop there. So the next one, okay, is the in and out squats. Here you go. In, then jumping out, and then back in. And then back out. Okay, still got 15 seconds. Grab some water if you want. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. In and out squats. And stop there. Okay, the next one. Okay, is the jumping jacks. Okay, so the jumping jacks. Here you go. Out and in. Good luck with star jump. Go out on one jump, then coming in on the other. Starts in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds gone. And stop there. Okay, thirty seconds. And then we have the four jumps. The four jump. Two for the jump. Turn it. Two for the jump. Okay. That's the exercise. Still got fifteen seconds left. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Four jumps. Ten seconds. And stop there. Now the next one is the burpee. So doing your, do this in your own pace. You go down. Okay. Then you jump out. Then in, and then up. Okay. That's the burpee. If you do one, you do one. Do two. That's great. If you do three, that's excellent. Okay. If you do more than that, get yourself a point in the next time you dance now. Okay. Three, two. One burpees, let's go. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, one more exercise left. This is the Morris step. I'll be demonstrating 
a Bampton style set or a single set. Okay, entirely up to you. I was making sure it's not too strenuous for my last exercise as well. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, more steps. Ten seconds. And stop there. Okay, so that is week four of the pre record or week four of the return to dance dance fitness workout. Okay, so next week I'll probably revert back to the original session, but just add the, the duration or increase the duration of how many ex or how long we're exercising. So once you've done this workout, you can do it whatever rotation you want again as well. Um, just make sure you do the cool down at the end as well so you don't feel too achy or sore the next day. Okay, hope you enjoy the video and see you next week.